I did not kill her. I did not do anything to her. My hands are clean. Way to you in the morning, he fed up on the tree and died. No, no, this cannot happen. Such a red gem cannot die like that. Woman, I need you to comport yourself. Hold your daughter and understand this is not the end of this. There must be a way out. I believe you. My father cannot die just like that. God, I need you to go to Iziashi. Fetch me the special one by the name Mwamala. Tell her that her presence is needed in my palace immediately on an issue that involves life or death. Iwe. You may leave now. Move. Ah. 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 What brings you to my sacred place? Mwamala, the great. The beautiful morning star. The one that is highly favored by the gods. Our king sent me to you. And what message does he have for me? He said that your presence is needed in the palace because the situation before him is a matter of life or death. Then wait there. I'll be with you shortly. I am waiting already. Why so? The great priestess of my land. You are. You are that eye of the goddess who has metamorphosed into becoming the eye of the gods. I called you here because I know there is something you can do. You are that great daughter of the great priestess Wando. Who equally is the granddaughter of the great priestess of my land? You come from the lineage of priestesses. And in your lineage, nobody has ever disappointed. 
I know you are not going to disappoint. <laughs> Nataba. 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 You have awoken the tigress in me. Therefore, ask whatever you want. Be it whatever that's never been created, and I will curse it to be for you. <laughs> I actually sent for you because I know you are the one gifted with the ability to call back the spirit that has not come back. Here lies a man of my land. The man of my land who has risen to be the best pan wine tapper in my land and even beyond. A man who has become so good that nobody has said anything bad about his pan wine. He fell from the pan tree today. And we have a reason to believe that his spirit has departed from his body. Such a great man of my land cannot just go like that. And that is why I have called you. To do what you can do alone. I want you to revive his spirit. I want you to revive his soul. I want you to revive his body. Please. I am also. Oh, see, Bondo does a see, Bondo, he can't. And I never tell you. What am I doing in the Igwe's palace? Papa, you fell off the palm tree and gave up the ghost. Yes, huh? when Amala came and revived your spirit. <laughs> nah. When the youth brought the news to me, I begged them to help me bring your lifeless body to the palace. Mm. And when we came, Igwe sent the guard to go and call Amala. And when she came, she performed her wonders. Look at them. You mean I was dead? And one Amala came and revived me. <laughs> it sounds it sounds strange, right? <laughs> you shall live longer than your forefathers. He said <laughs> Who am I? That you care so much for, I will ever remain grateful for this. Well, you are a man of my land who means so much to me. That is why I went all out. You are my subject, and your life is important to me. I am going to send my appreciation items to Ngamala for what she did for your family. But that does not mean that you and your family should not do the same. I expect you and your family should organize your own appreciation items in form of thanksgiving and send to her to thank her for what she has done for you and your family. I will definitely go and see her with my family. My family and I are very grateful <laughs> for this second chance. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Wise one. The king sent these items to you to thank you for what you did for him yesterday. Tell the king that I've received them in good faith. Take them to the back hut.
the wise one, the great one, the most favored of the gods. Uh, my family and I are here to say thank you for what you did for us yesterday. So please. <clears throat> Accept this little token as um, appreciation from us. Please. Guards! Please bring back those items. All of it. Guards, wise wise one. One. take all these items to his house. At your wish, wise one. The great one. We are here only to say thank you for what you did for us. I have not asked for anything. You did not have to ask me for anything. I know you need them. Rather did you have to get all these for appreciation. I was sent to the world to help your family. So I do not need all these to show appreciation. Hey, please take your family with all this. Thank you, wise one. Thank you. Oh. Great one, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs> what else can we say? Say no more. Rise. Rise with your family and take everything here. Your chi has given you everything. Mother, I am not happy. I am not happy at all. You dare not speak like that. Why? Why will you not be happy? Your chi has blessed you with everything. Everything any human can ask or imagine. But I'm still immortal, mother. I have blood running through my veins. I feel the emptiness inside of me. I want to be like every other maiden out there who has a man. I want to feel the weight of a man right on top of me. I, I want to feel it all. For how long will Why I... Why will you stop? Stop this! Stop blaspheming before the ghost strikes you dead! Close your mouth! I think it's better, mother. It is. Now listen to me, Wamala. You stop this. You were created to be a virgin and to die as a virgin. Now look at me when I'm talking. The earlier you stop harboring all these evil thoughts in your mind, the better and the safer for you. So stop. But mother... Hey! This discussion is over. End it. Otonwa, come and collect this thing from him. Oh, Mama. Thank you. Hey. You have tied it? Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, great His Majesty for me. I will. Uh, may the ghost lead you. You see? Uh, you people should take care. Let's Let's go. Go. Take care. Oh. Jen. Mm. I'm getting a worker. Now I'm going to come back. This is so strange. <laughs> <laughs> Very strange indeed. We went to greet her with our token mm. and came back with Kumewu. Maji, hey, hey, very, very, damn, damn, not so much. You see, Mamala was born to exhibit strange things 
on earth. Hmm. She's just living up to her calling. That's true, Papa. That is it. Hey. Hey. May the gods be praised. Is a... <laughs> Such a nice woman. Hey, oh, indeed she is. <laughs> Obidike is my dream man. My day cannot be complete without seeing him. I love him so much. Yeah, 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 love you, love you. When you talk about this, you Obidike every day. Are you sure he feels the same way about you? Of course. My Obidike loves me. Uh, let me ask you. Let me ask you a very simple question. What is it about him that you love so much? Hey! Mm -hmm. His strength, vigor, the way he's finely built, his broad shoulder, his strength, <laughs> his big chest, the way he uses his strength on me anytime we make love. <laughs> You're a bad girl. See, let me tell you, I knew it. I know you don't love Obi DK. You only love his strength and ability to satisfy you sexually. You're a bad girl. <laughs> you can say anything you want. Thank the gods, you are not made to judge over anybody's emotions. All that matters is that Obi DK loves me and I love him. Oh, we love you. Yes. We love you. Thank you. <laughs> My Obi DK. <laughs> Mm. But his mm. hand was so down. Yes, if you see his chest. <laughs> hey. Hey, eh? Your beauty is from the gods. You look so adorable. Anytime I set my eyes on you, I, I feel like having you all for myself. You smile. It's like the rising of the morning sun. Your hairs are like the ornaments of the king's garden. Oh, your eyes. Stop. Stop flattering me. I hate flatteries. Why would you call my true affections flatteries? How can you call it true affection when everyone in this village knows about your affairs with you, Biachu? That was before I met you. That was before my eyes of love beheld such a beauty like you. Are you trying to say you will abandon me because of me? I can't even abandon my mother because of you. There is nothing under the sun that I cannot let go just to have you. What if tomorrow comes, you see, a more beautiful dancer than me? Are you going to abandon me for her? Who can be more beautiful than you? Beauty personified. The most beautiful. Okolo Kalea. Wanyoma. Ugebem. Hi. What are you doing with her in this lonely past? What? What? Say you later. Oh, okay, my dear. What did he say? You are dear. You are dear indeed. What is your problem? Huh? You saw me talking to a, a maiden. And the next thing you did was to badge in your nose and start talking nonsense. Me? Obi Ajolo? Talking nonsense? Obi Dike? Oh, wait. So, tell me. Even if I, I have paid your bright price, does that make me invisible to other maidens? Does that? Why can't I have my peace? Don't I have my freedom? What is it? Be very careful. Be very, very careful. Be warned. Obi DK, is it me you are talking to in this manner? Obi DK, Obi Ajuli, be very, very careful. Me, hi. Me, 
it's okay now. Yeah, maybe he will just come. Hey, hey, hey. You just hold it for yourself. Pretender. You think I didn't see you laughing at me a while ago? Now you are pretending to be a good friend. I know that all of you are jealous of me in this village. Obidike is mine. And will be mine forever. Sorry, yo. I will not talk again. Better, don't talk. Who is making you cry? <laughs> uh -huh. You need to see the way OBDK spoke to me today. <laughs> is that why you are crying? Wipe away your tears, mom. Eh? See, men are like that. At times they will speak so harshly to their soulmates. Are you kidding me, Bane Belka? No, no, it's not like that. Oh. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. I saw him with another maiden. And when I tried to inquire who the maiden was, he was rude at me. He was rude at me that Mark and my friend was laughing at me. It's okay. Eh? It's okay, my dear. Eh? See, let me tell you. If the ghost has destiny that Obidike is your man, no, nothing anybody can do about it. Okay? No human effort will stop it. So stop crying. Ibezina. Ne, eh? ne. Obi Dike humiliated me. He humiliated I me. Obi Ajula, I know. Ngwa, ma haruse. Ibezina. I don't know if Obi Dike truly loves me. It's okay. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Oh? <laughs> Ibezina. Daluno. Oye nonso. Who is home? Oye kan kene. Oh. Nne. Oh oh, nna. Dalu. Keki me. Nso wa de o. Ototo omo. Ototo omo nne na. Ila rokwa. Eh, ala lo. Um, please, where is your husband? I asked him to keep some fresh palm wine for me. Um, he has gone to the palace with his keg of palm wine. Uh ah. -uh. Uh, did he tell you where he kept my? I no. I don't think he reserved any for you because even the ones he took to the palace is not even enough for the king's uh, demand. Ah. Uh. Th that's so bad of him. Yeah. Eh? I will tell him. He will keep yours for for oh. See, He will keep yours next time. Oh. I will tell him. He will keep you. No, no, no. I'm not happy now. Oh, I'm not yeah. happy. Oh, no. Nah. Uh, it's so bad, you know. Oh, what's Mama. Hello, mm -hmm. Papa. No, Mama. Are you okay? Yes, Mama. I'm fine. In what sense? Offerman, what is wrong with all the maidens in this village? Eh? Magiwa, including you. Ever since that young man came back from his paternal home, every maiden in this village wants to have him. Magewa. No, Mama. Mage. Mm hmm. Gewa. Me. Ha. Me yife. Ngwa. Inside. Inside. Yes. Ha. Oh, bad. Wow, Mama. You will remain a virgin. For the rest of your life, so that our lineage will continue. Hear this and hear it again. We are special breed. None of us, you, me, my mother, or your grandmother, was born in a normal way of man and woman conception. No. 
a spirit comes to make love to our mothers and they still conceive and give birth to a special child or special children with great powers. So you see, it has to be done in a sacred way, else the power will not be on the child. But mother, must we continue this lineage? Of course. It's a must. That's because we are special breed. We are blessed into humanity. We have come to console and to bless their endeavors. Then why am I having these strange feelings? I mean, the urge to be with a man. Why? It's not only you. It happened to all of us. But we were able to overcome. Believe me, you will overcome. When the spirit comes to make love to you, you will overcome and give birth to that special child with power. Great one. On our way to Ugala this morning, two young men attacked us and took away all our calories. They took away everything from us. Yes, great one. They ran away with our hard and calories. Don't worry. They will bring it back here. Right here. The one who called me to do this. Please, return that which belongs to them. Both of them are the same thing now. No, it's not the same I'm now. Who is the collecting the bigger share here? Who, which bigger no, share? No, no, no. Who is the, no. who is the man at the front? No, no, no. I'm the man at the front. No, so this can't happen now. Wait first. Wait. Instead, we share it equal. We share equal. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. no. Hold that one. No. Manage that one. No. no, I'm supposed to be collecting the bigger I'm, cowards. Yeah. I'm the man at the front, so no, you have no, to hold that no, one. No, no. Hold that one no. first. No, hold that one first no. now. Wait. Wait now. Stop dragging this Let's share it equal. Share what? Great one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great one. I really appreciate it. There's no problem. Now go. Go and help others. You're better off now. Thank we you. We have a great one. Go now. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, 
Hey, I'm Hey, I'm 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 How are you? I'm fine. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Hey, I'm I'm Oh, Ali Chang Wang. No, oh, oh, no. Thank you. How is your mother? No, she's fine. She eh. sent her regards to her. <laughs> it's what are you? Oh, no. She did well. <laughs> no, eh. is he still sleeping? I brought him surprise. Hey, you know what? <laughs> surprise? Yes. Hey, <laughs> but he's not around. He no. left not quite long ago. Okay, uh, ne, where exactly did he go to? Obidike. I think he, he took this part. Maybe he went for his early morning palm wine. Ah, <laughs> you know Obidike. <laughs> he loves palm wine. <laughs> <laughs> Obidike and early morning mm. palm wine. Obidike does not joke with palm wine. You have not told me anything about my proposal. What do you want me to say now? Your mind. Your feelings, your decision about what I told you concerning us. You know, as much as I do, that it won't work. I do not know anything. You do. Stop pretending. I never knew you hate me this much. I don't hate you. No woman born of another woman. In her rightful sense, we'll see a good-looking man like you and not like you. I mean, since you came back from your maternal home, back to this village, every girl has her eyes on you. So, why won't it work? Again. What is your problem? Eh? Why do you keep following me around as if I'm a little child? Go back to your mother's hut and rest. Go and rest. Ugo. Ugo. I can't take this. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> To her, stop hurting that girl. Go back to her. You're playing with her emotions. I am a full grown man. I know who my heart wants. You are the one. She belongs to my past. Yes. I'm a woman too. I know how it feels when someone has so much affection for you and you turn back and abandon her to love another like that it is not about the past it is always about the present the past will always have its role to play in the present go back and amend your ways Ugom 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 Breaking my heart. Obidike, where have I offended you? Why? morning sun that rises when the tide is of my emotions. <laughs> Good morning, Obidike, the brave one. I never knew you could be this romantic. <laughs> I was not actually talking to you. I was actually addressing your friend, the one who has won my heart. 
What will he do? I have told you. I don't have the strength to fight with over 100 of maidens whose eyes are on you since you returned. Please let me be. The choice is mine. It does not matter if thousands of maidens are all over me. What matters is the choice I make. I have made my choice. And my choice is you. Marka, please let's go. It's too early for this. Hey! You cannot walk out on me. I am here for you. Please. Obidike, please stay away from my way. It's too early for this. It's Not fine. until you accept my proposal. She says she don't want now. Oh, please, accept my proposal. Okay? Accept me. I love you from the depth of my heart. Please, Obidike, yeah, let's go now. Let your hands off me, please. Why did it take you long to accept my proposal? I wouldn't like to suffer heartbreak tomorrow. I'm a very simple girl. All the maidens have their eyes on you. I wouldn't like you to leave me and go for another woman. I am too jealous to withstand that. And to avoid such occurrences, I decided to avoid you. Does it matter if all the maidens have their eyes on me? What matters is the one I love. Remember, the beautiful ones are not yet born. Beauty the say is in the eyes of beholder. In my own eyes, the most beautiful one is born. And she is standing right before me. I was not joking when I said I love you and I want to be with you. And you know that my heart beats for you. I love you too. Are you done? No, just wait. <laughs> How is it? Honestly, it looks great. You know you are my eyes now. And you know I will never deceive you. I trust you. And I believe you. That is why I, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? All the maidens in this village are surprised. They are wondering what you saw in me that made you fall in love with me. I saw love. I saw the mother of my sons. The mother of my daughters. I saw my wife. You are my everything. Thank you. You're such a lovely man. And you are my everything too. Thank you. So. Obidike, when are you coming to see my people? Why are you in a haste? I am not in a haste. We have been betrothed for a long time now. I am taking my time. Obidike, I want you to swear to me. That? That you will never leave me for another woman. Why? Just swear to me. Wait. Are you doubting my love for you? Obidike, 
I am not doubting your love for me. Then what? Many eyes are on us. I mean, on you. Hey, hey, stop it. Stop. Stop. Do we have to discuss this every day? Do we? I think you have to... Stop! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Don't be a jewel, my daughter. Nen. Are you sure this young man wants to marry you? Nen. Yes, I am sure. Hmm. Obidike loves me. Hmm. Hmm. Then what's keeping him from coming to see us? Eh? Is it that he cannot provide a jar of palm wine? And seven pieces of cola nuts. Eh? To come and see us. Not, not that, ne. So what? See, that young man has flair for a beautiful woman. Eh? That is why I'm urging you to do as soon as possible. Let him come and marry you before he changes his mind. Eh? Ne, you are right. I, I will try. I, I will do anything in my own power to bring him here. Yes. Yes, try. I did mama because I'm not married before so. I will do it for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't take this. No. I can't take this. What happened to her? Her lover boyfriend has finally abandoned her. How? What happened? Did he know? He just told her to her face that he's no longer interested. He is in love with Ugoma. Hey! Yoke mm. Maru. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Uh, I just told you. I knew it. I knew it. That would be decay. He's a he goat. Mm. Uh -uh. That's how he'll be going around chasing after women, after women. Mm. And, and when I tried to tell Obi Ajulu that that, that uh, Obi DK is not a good person, mm. she said, yeah, you're yeah, just being jealous mm. because he does not like you. Mm. Now it has happened. Mm. Ah, mm. no wonder I don't like that, that boy. Mm. I don't like him at all. Mm. Okay. I don't like him. Mm. Let's go and see. Mm. Let's go. Mm. Hey, hey! Nen, I'm tired. I can't continue. The shame, the humiliation, ne everything. I'm already sick about it. Ne, please, I can't continue. It's okay, my daughter. You can. Men are like that. They are attracted to what they see, my daughter. Yeah? And that is why I was urging you into making him to come and see us. Yes. Nem, I tried. Then he is not your husband. If he's the type that plays on women's emotion, that makes women to run to him like that, then he must leave to reap whatever he has sown. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 madam, bye, bye. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nne, mm -hmm. I can hear their voices. Mwaka, my friend. Nne, please. I can't see them in this condition. I know they are coming right now to mock me. Nne, please, find anything to tell them. Just dismiss them. I don't want to see anybody. Nne. It's alright, it's alright. Nne, just go, go. I don't want it's them okay. to meet me. Uh -huh. What is it? Uh -huh. Who are you looking for? Mama, we, we came to see our friend. Mm. You came to see your friend? Yeah, sorry! Hey, I came to see my friend. How could you? How could you come to mock my daughter? Because you wanted him. But he chose my daughter over you. I don't understand. And I am confused too. Bunch of pretenders! You are confused! Will you get out of my compa before I use hot water on you people? Abatine, we, we... Ikako. Oh, Ikako. Ikako. Oh, oh. Ika... Ndiala! Ndiala! Ozu! Siana sretibono wunu. Ndiala. Nen, no, my dear. That was good. Trust me, trust your heart. Eh? It's okay, it's okay. Was very rude of her. How can she just pursue us like that? I think that befits you. <laughs> Befit us, you mean? <laughs> no, I mean you. You. Well, she is your best friend. Mm -hmm. Your best friend, God be you. Instead of you to go there and console her, you went there to mock her. No, I did not go to mock her. I went to console her. Hey! You went to console her. <laughs> <laughs> so in all honesty, this is a serious issue, but actually not as serious as uh, right. What is it? Why I'm finished. This young man they call Obidike. I don't know what he did to my daughter. Igwe, since three days now, my daughter has not gotten up. I don't. She has not eaten anything, Igwe. My daughter is practically dying. Go him, oh. Let him come and cast whatever spell he cast on my daughter. He's my only child. I don't want to lose her. Oh. I want to understand. Woman, compose yourself. Why, why in the first place will he cast a spell on a daughter of this kingdom? We are supposed to be lovers. We are expecting him for his people to come and do the right thing. Where he suddenly left my daughter. Yes, he will. Oh, oh. <laughs> now I understand. See, a woman, I want you to go home. Go home and console your daughter. There's nothing wrong with her. She's just suffering from heartbreak. Igwe, this has gone beyond though, Igwe. I said you should go home. Hi. Go and console your daughter. Nothing will happen to her. Igwe. But that is not, you shouldn't have said that. Igwe. That young man has done a lot of damage to our girls since he returned. I have not set my eyes on him since his return. And I have heard so much very bad report concerning him. How he has been exposing our young women to a lot of immoral activities. Igwe, if you see this young man, his chest is like this, like rock. His shoulders are like this. And his muscles, like lump of tree. And that is the reason for him to be living the kind of life that is better against him. No, I need to understand it. Defiling our young woman, is he not supposed to be using his power for something else instead of women? Exactly. 
Exactly. Do you know this young man? Yes, he do. is needed in my palace urgently. In fact, let her know it is a matter of life or death. Igwe. stop him now. He will end up rendering all the maidens in this village useless. All in the name of being a handsome man. Exactly. <gasps> May the gods be praised. Ah, ah. Oh, be the care of all people. As name. So the mighty evil has fallen. Look at him. Look at Look at Look at Let's go. Let us go. Let's go and see it. Let's see him. Doctor of the gods the doctor of the great priestess Wando, the great goddess, the great goddess, Yeah. 
<laughs> and here she comes. Anya <laughs> Mototo. The gift of the gods to humanity. Oma mama zularo. Ena nebe jolo. Ozu bondu nazo si bondu ike. You are the one who make it the impossible possible. You are the one who can do what men cannot do. We have called you because there is a situation. A situation that needs your attention. And I know you are not going to disappoint. <laughs> do something. Men kids blow on your ball. Why? Why? Natava. 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 Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Here she is, a promising young woman of our kingdom, the hope of the mother, a poor widow of my land. It is being speculated that a, 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 a spell has been cast on her. We don't know what that means, but as you can see, it appears as if the spirit has left the body. You are the one with the special gift of the gods who can call back the spirit that has not gone far. I have called you to do that which you are known best for. Please, help us revive her spirit. Revive her body. Revive her soul. Please. <sighs> Wonder. I did not kill her. I did not do anything to her. My hands are clean. Is it by force to marry someone? Is it? I do not love her again. Can I not go my way? Mechiano, will you shut up? Is it our king that you are wagging your tongues for in such a manner? You have actually lost your senses. I... I am sorry, but I did not do anything to her. No, no, Bidika, you listen to me. Because I have heard so much on how you have been going around defiling all the young ladies you have in this kingdom since you returned from Yukune, your maternal home. But let this meeting be the last word that I'm going to give you. Because if I should ever hear it again, that you have defied any of the damsels in this kingdom, I am going to punish you never to come back. We are known for high moral values in this kingdom. High moral values, core values. And you're not going to come from nowhere and put us to shame. This is my last warning to you. Don't force me to banish you because I will banish you without blinking an eye. Get out of my sight.
Now what is bothering you again? Is that the same urge to be with a man? This time, I want that man. I want to feel him. I want to feel his strength, his hair, eyes, his dimple. I want to feel him everywhere around me. I really want to feel him on me and in me. Who is this man? The man I met at the palace today. The very one who has been causing heartbreaks to all the maidens. That very man, mother. May the gods forbid it. You will never ever have any kind of knowledge of him or anyone else. Except the spirit being when he comes in due time. I cannot wait. No, you have to. I cannot, mother. Why? Why, mother? Why, mother? Listen. We all went through what you're going through right now. Believe me. We overcame. We overcame. Trust me. You will overcome. Pardon her blaspheming, gods of her land. She is nothing but a little girl. Please, do not use anything against her. Pardon her little man. Continue that which you are doing in her. Let that which you have destined for her be the only thing that will come to pass in her life. Kill every other urge arising in her. Please help her. Help her to overcome all of them. You're here. I just came out. You did not notice my presence. All right. Uh, food is in the kitchen. I am not hungry. What do you want? I want to go out. To where? I'm asking to where exactly? Do not dare the gods. Do not dare the gods. <laughs> you made me lose my stand. I am so sorry, my dear. What do you want? The same thing I have always wanted. OBDK, even after Igwe sworn into you, after everything, you still don't want to change your lifestyle. What lifestyle are you talking about? Was it not because of you that Obi Ajuli died of heartbreak? If not for the intervention of Huamal, she would have been a dead person by now. I never broke anybody's heart. Yes. The truth is, I, I never loved her. She was just the one always jumping on me. But when I found you, when I found you, I had to discontinue everything. I had to stop because I, I, I found love enough. Enough of these your tricks. 
I will not fall for it. Go. Fine. I know you do not love me. I cannot kill myself for you. Just go your way. Let me go my way. Nothing. Nothing? Yes. To the woman who rocked your credo, you said nothing. Is it not Ugoma? Huh? She wouldn't give him? Yes. How do you expect her? When everybody in this village knows your ordeal with obi Mama, 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 please, mm. save, save, save me that obi talk. talk. Eh? Save me that talk. What is all this? Can I not have a change of mind over a maiden I want to marry? Uh, please, Biko. Please, your food is inside. Go I am not hungry. Your... You are not hungry. Uh, you are not hungry. Go and eat that food, though. Go and eat that food. You are not hungry. Obia, Obia. I have started to let everything be. That's the best thing to do, my friend. That is just the right thing. Mm -hmm. And as for that one that caused herself to go mad, she will soon see where she has landed herself. That don't know. I feel like stealing her alive. Don't worry. Yeah? Just let go. I know it's not easy, but just let go. Yeah? What if he truly loves me so much like he said? What if it was true that it was Obiajulo that forced herself on him? I love him. I really do. But I wouldn't want to be the reason my fellow maiden is passing through a serious heartbreak. Mama. 
Uh, where are you going to? I. Oh, in Asusun so so. You are not a Samara. Where are you going to? Mama, um, Obidike asked me to bring my wife for him this morning. Are you mad? No. You have sense. After hearing how he has been dealing with all the maidens in this village, you are still pushing yourself to him. In, in Apuala. Are you normal? But Mama, oh, shut up. Don't talk when I'm talking. In Apuala. Eh? Don't talk when if you try to take it, I'll slap you. Go inside. Mama, hey, hey, hey. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can you imagine? Ugum. I couldn't sleep last night. I couldn't sleep all through the night. I was thinking about you. I could not sleep too. The thoughts of you have always been my night companion. I, I want to ask you a question. And I hope you will tell me the truth. Go ahead, my love. What is it? The earth you stand on and the clouds over your head. The air you breathe will bear me witness this day. If you lie to me, they will haunt your spirit until you die. I won't lie to you, my love. Do, do you truly love me? Or you just want to have a test of me and dump me the way you dump Obia Julia and the host of others? Not Umwamala, the great one. I'm as surprised as you are. Wait, wait, oh, where could she be going without a staff of power? Going on announced and unnoticed, just like a male village maiden. <sighs> this is strange. Very strange. <sighs> Unlike her. See the way she's even walking. Wait for me, Biko. Ugom, I swear with my life, my love for you knows no bound. It is deeper than what your mind can fathom. I am sure that you and I were created for each other. Your coming back to me was not ordinary. It was masterminded by the gods to fulfill destiny, our destiny, the destiny of love. I, I... Hey, uh... Obidike! She's what? N nothing. Where are you coming from? I went out. Without your staff of power? I need to be left alone now. You're a liar. I am not lying to you. I saw everything. I saw the way she was looking at you. I saw the anger and jealousy in her. And I saw the guilt in your eyes as well. Believe me, Olam. 
If she has anything in mind about me, I am not aware of it. Then what I... were you trying to explain? Tell me, what do you want to explain I, to her? I, 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 I sh 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 you're a liar. No. You're still lying in my presence. I am not lying. I saw it. I, you're lying to me. I, I am not it. lying. You're lying to me. Believe in me. In my presence, I saw the way you were looking at. Uh, Ugum. You're a Ugum. big liar. Ugum. Ugum. Why am I... You went to see him. I said I need to be left alone. I love you, Wamala. Of course, I do. I love you like every other mother would naturally love her child. I care about your feelings. I care about your emotional trauma. Of course, I have been there, so I understand how you feel right now. If you truly do, Mother, you would not be sitting here and talking to me. I do. I do. But the only difference is that we are called. We are called to help salvage mankind. We are called to ease of the pains of mankind. The gods have chosen the gods, my tales. The gods, my moonlight tales. This is blasphemy, my child. You don't have to blaspheme against that which is able to make and unmake you. Please, come to think of it, mother. Are these gods not selfish? Do they care about their own satisfaction alone? Do they even think about my own satisfaction? My, my joy as a human, my, my happiness. Do they care about me? Don't speak so unrolling against the gods. Oh, what, mother? <sighs> They'll take my life? At this point, I think it's better. It's better to just go than, than burning and, and dying in this misery called life. No. Mamala. She was there when I was accused of being the reason Obi Ajila died. She brought her back to life. Then she looked at me the same way she looked at me today. I saw it as a warning to retrain from maidens. But listen, Ugom, not even all the warnings from the gods will ever make me lose you. I cannot lose you. I do not have anything to do with her or any maiden in this entire kingdom. I'm sorry for accusing you wrongly. Please forgive me. I have forgiven you. I cannot even afford not to forgive you. You are my word. You are my totality. My everything. My heart. Omale Chow. Obim. Come here. Thank you for forgiving me. You're welcome. You? Yes, me. What do you want from me? Everything. I want everything in you. Your eyes. Your nose, your mouth, everything, your legs. I want everything that makes you who you are.
that will not be possible. My heart belongs to another. Don't you dare say those words to me. Don't! Now look at me. Look at me! Now! to talk or what? I could not. Just like my mother did, just like I did, and just like your grandmother did, we overcame. You will. Welcome, ma'am. <laughs> what is bothering you? Nothing. I thought you said you loved me with all your heart. Yes. Then why lie to me? Lie to you, how? About what is bothering you? I am fine. It is not a lie. Okay, I I made in salad soup for you from those fishes we got from the river. I am not hungry. You're not hungry. I'm not hungry. With her. Are you sure it's not what I'm thinking? My dear, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Oh, you don't I knew it! Way. Imagine. Who could be his next victim? I don't know. And the fish is very big, oh. Ah! Very big! Come, come, come. Let's go. Ah! There's no one thing, eh? I will eat this, this food. I will just eat it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't say that. Eh? It's Akbu. <laughs> my favorite. In short, my favorite. I'm ah! gonna go and eat it. What do you want from me? Everything. 
I want everything in you. Your eyes, your nose, your mouth, everything. Your legs, I want everything that makes you who you are. I knew it. I knew that once he succeeded in sleeping with me, I would amount to nothing in his eyes. He didn't even notice my presence. Obidike, that would always stand at the sight of me. He ignored me and ignored my food. <laughs> How can men be this heartless? After everything I told him before accepting his proposal, after all the promises he made to me, he had the mind to treat me this way. Is it? Oh. What is it? It has happened. What happened? Bidike has left to go mad. <laughs> so soon? Oh. My sister. I knew it. Mm. I know that he's going to leave her. Obidike is not a man. Mm -mm. He's a beast. A beast. <laughs> She's not going through. Passing the same thing you went through. <coughs> Crying all over the place. I pity her. Hmm. Come to think of it. Why is Obidike like this? No. Why? After the warning the Igwe gave to him, why does he drive joy breaking people's hearts? My sister. I don't Hi. know. I don't know. Hmm. So, where is the good man now? I don't know. Maybe hey. we'll go and check and see for ourselves. <laughs> They have seen what we saw, mm. and their heads are now smaller than our you own. See, only <laughs> <laughs> now you know. <laughs> 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 Why are you You must tell me what is going on. Don't be the who is she. What is going on? Tell me, talk to me. Are we still together? Or who is this maiden? Or, or you're done with me? It is not like I, I am done with you, but there is something more important to me than this relationship. Believe me. Something more important than us? Than our relationship? Than our future? Obidike, what is that thing that is more important? It is personal. Very personal. I am not lying to you. Who is she? Who is she? There is no she anywhere. Look into my eyes and tell me you're not seeing another maiden. You can't. Obidike, you can't. The gods of this land will judge you. If after everything I told you at the beginning of this journey, you decided to treat me like this, the gods will judge you.
I have not done anything wrong. The gods will not judge me. there show yourself you yes me what do you want you. Me? Yes. You. You have succeeded in igniting a fire in my heart and in my bones. After the last experience, I could not take my mind off you. You are such a beauty. Truly, you are from the gods. Everything that makes me a man wants you. I want to be with you. You should leave now before my mother meets you here. I saw her leaving. And I'm sure she is not going to be back anytime soon. As if you know where she went to. Then let's leave her. Come with me. Wait, wait. Where are you taking me to? Come. There is fire in your eyes. Yes. I know about it. I saw it in your eyes that very day. Now the fire has cut, cut my eyes too. It is burning in my eyes. It is burning in my heart. It is burning in my bones. I cannot stop. Even if I try to, it is irresistible. Please, please, do not do this. Please, I, I beg you, don't. Why would you want to quench this fire? 
Why? The gods. They, they understand. They do. My mother. Wait, 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 wait. Take your hands off me, I have to go. But How can you decide to play with fire? I'm asking you. Why? Have you decided to risk your life and destiny on the altar of pleasure? I did not do anything. Now, where did you go to? I, I did not go anywhere. I, I, I was around. Where? I'm asking you, around where? Oh, immediately you saw my feet leaving. You sneaked out without your staff of power. You. I was around. I, I, I did not go anywhere. The question is around where? Around where? Now you listen. I am not going to say anything about this again. I will not. If you like, you listen. If you like, don't. What has she done to me? What has this maiden done to me? I cannot speak out of my mind. What has she done? What is it? Before you start telling me what and what not I did not do. Oh, no. I'm only here to congratulate you for yet another victory won. What victory? Ah, your latest victory won, of course. I do not know what you're talking about. Oh, Ugoma. Yes, Ugoma. You have done to her what you know how to do best. Thinking you have something reasonable to say. Keep it on. Just know that the gods are watching you. Have mercy upon my daughter Wamala. Pardon her mistakes. She's nothing but a little girl. Spare her life. Spare her gift. Spare her destiny. Do not look upon her foolishness with so much anger. Do not obstruct 
what you deposited in her to save humanity. I beg of you, Chio Kike, to spare her life. What do you think you are doing? Eh? What is this? The only thing you know is about woman. Woman in the morning. Woman in the night. Hey! OBDK. I I do not know what you're talking about. How do you make fish with yourself? Huh? Have mercy on yourself. Look at how you are doing your waist. Hey! Oh, Guma, you an orphan like you. You deserve you deserve someone better. Someone like me, someone that will show you love and cherish you. Someone that is willing and ready to share in your loneliness. Someone that is ready to be there for you. But instead, you chose him, Obidike of all people. Well, thanks to the gods that the truth is finally out. What you're doing now was the same thing Obidike did. Little did I know that he came to deceive me. How am I even sure that you will not do worse? Please, people should leave me. I'm not interested in anything. Guma, calm down, calm down. I am not. I am not like him. I am different. I swear on my mother's grave and on my life. Guma, I will not touch you. I'm not interested. You see, you, you need someone, you need a real friend like me to pull you through these things you have been through. You need someone like me. Greetings, great one. You better keep it to yourself. What are you doing I, in that sacred place? I, I, I came to see if you can, if you can, um... Were you not the same person our ego warned about the maidens in this community? Um, no, it, it is not what you think. I... No, you listen! If I see you in this compound again, Great one, please. You, you, you're shouting. Oh, really? I'm shouting? Yes. Okay. Now, you listen! The last time I will see you, I will not only shout, I will scream! In fact, I will report you to Igwe! He goat! Shameless he goat! Have you come to defy my daughter? It will not work for you. 
shameless young man. And you wait. <laughs> I have warned you. I have warned you. Why is he frequenting this road these days? Who is he after now? Who lives in this Aziz? Mwaka? No, it can't be. Are you sure it is not? No, it is not possible. After my son, eh? I've not seen my son this scared before. Obi, Go to the palace here yeah, and tell the Igwe that I'll be with you shortly. Because that is done, the good one. You may go. I mean, where is Wamala? Igwe, on her way coming, she suddenly stopped and said we should come back to you to tell you that she will soon be with you. What? Yes, Igwe. Why would she do that? This is very strange. And it never happened before. Why would she suddenly change her mind 
from embarking on a journey she was already set out for. How did this get here? No. No, 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 no. We cannot come this far for us to lose it. Hey! No, no! We have lost it! We have lost it! We have lost it! Ha! Now where has she gone? No! my eyes have seen my ears. Hey, please, can you just go straight to the point? I don't have time for all this red What is the problem? What is Hi. it? Igwe Alwe, man. Alu, man. Igwe, as I was on the tree, tapping my pan wine, I looked under the tree and I saw Obidike and Wamala having canal knowledge of each other. <laughs> as I was looking, Trying to be sure of what I saw, the tree uprooted and smashed both of them to pieces. What? Hey, Igwe, I, I have never seen this type of thing before. No, 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 you are, you are telling me what you saw. Hi, Igwe, it, it was terrible. Hi, 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 Igwe, hi. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Gods of our land! Where have you brought me to? Where am I? Where is this place? If I have wronged you, why not take my life? Take me! Let me go! What am I doing here? Where is this place? Gods of our land! Just kill me! Take me! Where is this place? This is the voice of my daughter. That's not a voice of victory at all. Gods of our land. Please do not suffer her spirit, soul, and body more than she can bear. Gods of our land, I lift my hands towards you and I ask that you have mercy upon her stupidity. I ask that you have mercy upon her childishness. I ask that you have mercy upon her stubbornness. Ah, Mamala. 
How art the mighty fallen? Ah. You want to hear it, dear? The light has been taken away from our land and darkness has possessed our land. Why will Mamara? Why will she die without transferring her powers to anyone? She inherited those powers from her mother. And her mother inherited from her own mother. And that one inherited from her own mother and it followed in that right. Now, Wamala has ended everything. It simply means that the gods are no longer with us. Igwe. Hey! That young man was sent to ruin our land. And he has achieved his purpose. What a cause he has brought upon us. Hey! What a tragedy. What a tragedy indeed. OBDK! <laughs> OBDK, mama! <laughs> Who told you? It was a good way to leave this world. The same axis. You came into it! <laughs> Hey, you came into this world <laughs> through the parted, parted legs of a woman. <laughs> you left this world <laughs> through the same parted legs of a woman. OBDK. <laughs> you never thought of, of the widow you left behind. <laughs> Your mother that has preserved you for a very long time. In a faraway village, your father's kinsmen who wanted your death in order to inherit your father's land would not succeed. <laughs> when I thought I have defeated them, <laughs> when I thought I have beaten them, <laughs> they have succeeded. <laughs> you love this world. <laughs> Without leaving any grandson behind, OBDK. Hey, hey, Obi Abogum. Obi Abogum. A son of Uma, you have made me. A son of Uma. <laughs> you have made me a son of Uma, OBDK. <laughs> You made me a sort of a woman. You so bad, you know. Until we see them, we see again. I never to depart. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that the practical steps of Umwamala were not ordinary. <laughs> Since it, my major concern is why OBDK? That same man that has caused a lot of damages to the maidens of this entire village. Maybe you. Maybe I've been thinking this thing, this thing is really bothering me. Maybe he was arrested by the ghosts for ruling the lives of the maidens of this village. You never can tell. You never can tell. This has gone beyond that, my sister. This is doomed to the entire village. Even without the special one. Can you can you imagine? Hmm. Not just a do. This is a very big abomination. A very big one. They need to do something about this. So. Possible. 
I'm not dead. I'm still alive. I don't need your food. Just take me back to my people or kill me. I'm not hungry. Take me back. I'm not hungry. Just take me back. She is with a child. We are not doomed after all. She is with a child. The hope of this village.
A boy, another girl this time. Yes, finally, the gods have not left us. The god still lives amongst us. Oh, yes, they do. Thank you. The ghost of the land directed I should drop him to you. He's an offspring of Wamala, the last custodian of the strange power. <laughs> he shall be raised in this palace as a prince. Prince of power. Hmm. Prince of figure. Hmm. His hair on his head will never be cut down till eternity. Hmm. For the great powers which he possesses and inherited from his mother, Wamala. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, finally, the gods return, <laughs> not as a female, but as a male, a son, a prince. <laughs> this calls for celebration, and I hear the creed <laughs> that on the next came market day, all the men and women of this kingdom shall gather. For us to celebrate the new custodian of the strange power. It simply means that the gods have not abandoned us after all. <laughs> The doctor of the great priestess Wando, the great goddess, the great goddess, yeah. Yeah. 
She has emotions. She don't know what to do. She does not know how to go about this feeling. She needs a touch. She needs someone to hold her tight. 'Cause she's in love. She's in love with a man. Yeah, I'm